You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business. Your business is our business. And I'm fine. How do you do to you? I am doing fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Nice. All right. We're going to just set the stage here for creating a break through goal today. A breakthrough goal? A breakthrough goal. So All at the right. beginning of the year, each quarter, each day, whatever it is, you probably set out your goals, things you want to achieve. Maybe maybe your little strategy of what, you, what you're planning to do that day, that it week. basically happens every time I get out of the bed. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so you, you're My tracking breakthrough goal me. is get out of the bed. No, no. That, that's not a breakthrough goal. Those are just goals. Your You've strategy. You've never seen me in bed. It's a breakthrough goal. Is it a breakthrough mm-hmm. goal? What are you, just a bed slug? Didn't or what, what, what are we just talking saying, here? Got, got to get out of the bed. It's hard to say, but uh, thank you, Dennis. I appreciate your help with our uh, visuals on the, uh, the the website. I appreciate we're, we're going to work on that. Are we, are we having troubles again? Well, you know, sometimes every day it's it, it is right? every day. And, and Dennis is so great for, great for uh, for letting us know uh, by way of the comments on the, the video. Well, that's what we um, need him for, right? We're absolutely. Uh, so the I'm sorry to derail this conversation. No, that's, that's okay. You take um, your time. Do me a favor. Hit refresh on your, uh, refresh on your little on thing there. Camera. We'll see if we can solve that while we're breakthroughing our goals. Okay. So we all have goals that we're, we're trying to hit. And we set up and to get us through the year. Get us through the quarter, get us through Better. where it is. But most of them are like you said, get out of bed, yeah. maybe make some phone calls, uh-huh. maybe uh, grow the business, you know, X number percentage. Well, you've heard it before. It's the least we can do. It is the least we can do. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about setting a breakthrough goal, this is something that is going to catapult you. It's going to launch you into, this isn't, you're making 10 of them. You're no. making one of them for the day, week, quarter, whatever. Right. And and usually a breakthrough goal isn't something you can do in a day. It's, Dang. Yeah. It's, it's a hard it, thing. It's not going to be, goal. you know, if, if it, okay, here's, I'm going to take okay. it from Jim Rohn. He says, Jim Rohn. Yeah. The sports guy or the business guy? The business guy. Shoot. He says, it's important to uh, make sure that when you're setting your goals, that yeah. you, you have those goals that stretch you. And, and it's a big stretch for you to grow and achieve it. And so a lot of times people think, you know, I want my business to grow. I want to take my business to the next level. Yeah. And and that's not really a breakthrough goal. No, it's a whole bunch of ambiguity. I want it, it to grow somehow and I want it to and, take it to the next and level. Really but the we only, don't know what the next really level is. Really the next level is more money in my bank account. Oh, yeah, more more money flowing through. It is still ambiguous. It is How still much more, right? And 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 what are you going to do? And so, yeah. and and the problem a lot of times that we do with goals is is we we think about where we are today and what we have, yep. where we've been, you know, in the past to get us up to here, and and we've set the goals based on that today where we're right. at. But if we want to move into the future and we want to grow, we can't just work on and think right. about what I currently have. What was that thing that you wrote down this morning? We were in a meeting this morning and you wrote uh, a little, a little ism. It's, it's in that book over there. I know. I know. Um, but, but you wrote a little ism and somebody said something. And that as you grow, your complexity changes. No, no, there was the other one that says exactly what you just said, that, oh. that uh, you're planning for the future but not living in the past, right? You're not looking to the past in order to organize your future. In other words, the 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 gist of it here, folks, was this, that we are... Oh, to provide a, a mindset to where you're going, yes. not, where you're, not where you've been. That's it. Okay. The mindset to where you're going, not where you've been. And the point of that, when it, talking about a breakthrough goal, as I understand them, is... You want to go forward. You have you only you have the idea of what that's going to look like. Only you can predict or call it what it is. So go forward and say, okay, in thirty days, ninety days, a year, I'm going to be here. 
but I'm not going to sit there and say, you know, gosh, I want right? to hang but out most, in the past. Most of us say, even if we say that, um, you know, maybe, maybe there's there's something you want to do, but you think, well, I, one, I don't have the time right yeah. now, so I'm not doing it. Right. Maybe I don't have the money right now, so I'm not doing it. I don't have the resources, so I'm not doing it. I don't know the right people to talk to, so I'm not doing it. Uh, and we again, we stay with who we are right now. Teacher, I'm raising my hand. All of those sentences started with I don't. This is what I'm saying. I know. Right? This is what I'm saying. And so, but we do this all the time. I, I see it as And well. so in order to have this breakthrough, we have to break through. And it doesn't matter how much time you have because you're going to find the time. The time will show up. It doesn't matter how much money you have. The money always shows up. It'll come. It doesn't matter what resources you have or what you've learned. You're going to learn what you need to learn. And it doesn't matter if you haven't met the right people yet. They are going to arrive as well. And so as we put together this breakthrough goal of where you are going and what you want to get through today, imagine that you have the time. You know, what if? What if you had you know, however much time, how much right. time is that going to take? It's going to take 20 hours a week. Okay. So you have 20 hours a week. Right. Imagine that you have the funds, the finances. Well, yep. I, you know, I need $12,000 in order to make that happen. Okay. Let's imagine you have $12,000. You, you have it. It's, it's there. Okay. And you know, but I need to learn and I need to figure out and I need to have my website and I need to have the, imagine I need to those have these, things are in place. They're in place. Yep. Imagine those are in place. Yep. And the people that you need to know, they are in place. So all barriers off the table, yeah. all obstacles gone. If nothing were impossible. You are achieving this thing, right? And, and starting your business, getting on Oprah, winning a gold medal, you know, being elected, you know, you know, being winning the fan bragging contest. And whatever whatever it, is. it is, you know, that that the breakthrough is for you. Imagine that you have everything that you need in order to achieve it. And once you get, because what holds us back isn't so much the, the material things or, or, you know, something tangible because learning the system, learning yeah. the how like it's out there. All you have to do is the Google search. Right. Everything you ever wanted to know how to do is available to us, but you've got to get your mindset in the space Absolutely. that this is what, this is where I'm at. So it's, it's what I'm doing. You know, I'm not hoping to set it, I'm actually doing it. Jim Rohn says you should set a goal big enough that in the process of achieving it, ooh, you become someone worth becoming. You know, if you think about that for a minute, if you set that goal big enough, then in the process of achieving it, you're going to achieve it, right? Mm -hmm. You become someone worth becoming. That means that the goal is not just a transaction. It's not just a dollar in your bank amount. It's something meaningful. It's something that matters. You are something that matters. And to set that kind of a goal, Jim's spot on. Uh, yeah. that, that's, that's exactly what we should do. Right? Forget those outer symbols of success. You know, um, what does he say? Houses burn down, companies go bankrupt, relationship and cars get old, bodies age, and fame wanes. But you are who you are. Lisa Nichols, she talks about as you put the steps in to achieve this, right? When you're putting this breakthrough together and you're you're taking the steps to have that happen, she says, here's how you know if it's a goal versus a good idea, just an idea. Yeah. Um, you're putting the you're putting it in the calendar. You're scheduling it. So uh, what time are you doing that? And 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 is that on the calendar? Should be. It should be. So a lot of times we have an idea, we have a thought, you know, we want to grow. Okay. What time are you growing? I want to, I want to lose weight. No. Right. You know, okay. What do you, you know, what time are you doing that? No. Right. And so you're putting the, you're putting the action steps and you're putting the, the activities in your calendar every single day. What are you doing that is moving you into that space of that breakthrough Goal. So we're going to have a breakthrough moment, hopefully, today. Yes. If you've got a breakthrough goal and you want to share it with us, go to our Facebook page and comment on our Facebook Live video. Hey, what's our kindness act of the day? I'm so glad that you asked. Every day we're having a kindness act of the day. Hashtag kindness act of the day. How about this one? We're, you know, we're changing the way people treat people in business. We're creating a revolution. Yes. And it all starts with us with a single act every single day. And today's act is compliment everyone. 
Everyone? Everyone you see, everyone you interact. You look great with glasses on. I don't, but you thank really you. Do. <laughs> oh, I'm what, sorry. What's I'm sorry, the I kindness just destroyed, act of the back I just swing. destroyed it. I just destroyed it. Jeez. I feel really self conscious. They actually, they're just awkward. I, I, like I can't see Angel. you, and I, but I can only see my. Let screen. me tell you something. Every time you wear your glasses on the on the uh, Facebook Live yeah. video, yeah. The, the the results go through the roof. The views go through the roof. Well, it's probably because I think there's somebody different on the radio today. Oh, Who is that? Right. <laughs> thank you. Say something thank nice you, to right? everybody, and then folks. Say compliment thank everybody. You when somebody gives you a compliment, yeah, keep Do, practicing. I'm, I'm practicing. I'm learning. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Get total freedom in your life safely and quickly. Build wealth and passive income so you never worry about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. Hi, I'm Steve Davis, an investor in thousands of units over the years. Now it's your turn. Del Wamsey has been my mentor for nearly 25 years, and he's taught over 100,000 people just like you the principles of financial freedom through live one-on-one -on -one mentoring at Lifestyles Unlimited and his national radio show. I'm excited to tell you about the real estate workshop that changed my life. The workshop gets you on the inside of what we do and what we believe and unlocks the five ways we make money in real estate. Just like your personal trainer, Lifestyles Unlimited will motivate, encourage, and teach you so you can get in the best financial shape of your life. Call 866-971-8970 or go to fivewayswemakemoney.com. That's fivewayswemakemoney.com to register for the workshop that will change your life and let you stop worrying about working till you drop, losing your job, or retiring in poverty. When you have sleep apnea, traveling can be a real drag because you have to drag your big, bulky home CPAP device with you everywhere you go. But not anymore. Now you can travel easily and sleep comfortably anywhere thanks to Transcend, the world's very first mini CPAP. And right now, you can try Transcend absolutely risk-free for 10 restful nights. So call now, 1-800-400-1841. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever, Transcend is as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. You can even add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. Transcend is so incredibly small and light, you can easily fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant, too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Now you can enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. But don't delay. To receive your 10-night in-home trial, call minicpap.com now. 1-800-400-1841. Again, that's 1-800-400-1841. Wild birds Spring is bursting out all around us. Birds are singing their courtship songs. Squirrels are romping playfully through the trees. Butterflies are painting our gardens with color. KDMT Radio invites you to learn more about these felicitous activities by joining David and Scott Menno for Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on KDMT. Bird Talk is presented by Wild Birds Unlimited and can help you create the most attractive backyard wildlife habitat in the known universe. You'll hear fascinating interviews, wildlife news, and entertaining information about the natural world. KDMT Radio invites you to learn more by joining David and Scott Menno for Bird Talk every Saturday at noon, right here on KDMT. So give the bird dudes a call with your questions this Saturday at noon on Bird Talk. Wild Birds Unlimited brings people and nature together. Wild Birds Unlimited, we bring people and nature together. It's time to start your spring cleaning with some fresh, clean carpets. Call out Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Company to clean your carpets with their patented, empowered water technology cleaning process. Your carpets are going to look brand new again, especially if you have kids and pets. You probably have spots and stains everywhere. Empowered water technology is eco-friendly. It's safe for your kids and pets. Zero Res doesn't clean with harsh soaps, detergents, or toxic chemicals. If you're carpet is clean with those things, you're only attracting dirt to your carpets. Call now and get the April special. Three carpeted areas pre-treated, cleaned, and sanitized with that empowered water for just $119. That's the April special. Three carpeted areas pre-treated, cleaned, and sanitized with empowered water for just $119. See? Affordable. Ask them about cleaning your rugs, upholstery, and tile and grout, too. Call Zero Res today. 303-471-5150. 303-471-5150. Or go online and book your job at Zero Res Den Denver.com. Mention you heard the $119 deal on KNUS. Zero Res, the right way to clean.
This is the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experienced Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. You want to be starting something? Welcome back to the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Big man Chad on the music. Thank you very much, my friend. You know, if you want to be starting something, you might have to quit your nine to five and jump into the world of startups and entrepreneurism. Well, you know, and I think there's a lot of, I don't know, mystique and romance attached to when you think about some of the startups that you're familiar with, like Uber, Apple, Google, Facebook, right? right? All of those. And you think, oh, my gosh, this is like a no brainer. But the reality is that 90 percent of startups fold within their first two years, Tough. right? And those that do succeed owe just as much to savvy steps in company building and market focus on the part of their founders as to inspiration, vision, and luck. In the new book, The Ultimate Startup Guide, which is marketing lessons, war stories, and hard-won advice from leading venture capitalists and angel investors, startup veterans, and former VPs of marketing, Tom Hogan and Carol Broadbent, impart their advice on what needs to be done in order to reach startup nirvana. They actually follow an actual startup from idea development to ultimate emergence as a technical pioneer and a market leader. And on the phone is one of the authors of the Ultimate Startup Guide, Tom Hogan. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks a lot. Tom, very nice to have you along with us. In uh, the Ultimate Startup Guide, you talk a little bit about the strategies for hiring and then building a team based on culture and values. Let's flesh that out a little bit. What are you, what are you talking about there? Well, a couple of things have really changed uh, in the years that we've been associated with startups, and that's technology as well as non-tech startups. Um, first is that I think in the past, uh, the investors uh, really focused on the idea and the market fit as the, uh, the determining factor. And now they focus on team. I think the uh, First off, the, the days of them um, investing in a single founder are pretty much gone. They want to see at least a two, maybe a three-person core team. And then they want to see how those guys uh, um, flesh out the team, what they hire, what they outsource for, and how the team develops. So I think there's a whole personal aspect to startups mm. that uh, has moved to the front, uh, trumping even ideas now in terms of what people invest in. That's interesting well because said. I think we always think it's all about the idea. It's the concept. And if I come up with the next big idea and I can convince some investors in the idea that that's what they're buying into. I know I've watched a couple of Shark Tank episodes and I know that doesn't make me an expert, <laughs> but it, they do really seem to be focused on the, on the people. And I think it was Damon John that said, you know, because if this idea doesn't flesh out, then I know that that, that person, that team, we could probably come up that's right. With with something, something else. With something else. Yeah. And so is the idea that if I can convince a, a, an invest, investor, a team in, of investors um, to, to invest in the company, is that some kind of like more of a guarantee that this is probably going to take off or, or, or no? Well, I still think, you know, uh, certainly the idea is, uh, you know, uh, is uh, a dominant factor. You know, if you come to me with an idea and a Cracker Jack team, it's a home run. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, as you guys have pointed out, uh, quite often, uh, either they'll give you one chance to fail. Let's say the two of you come together as a team and pitch, and it doesn't quite work, but they love you guys as a team. They'll do one of two things with you. They'll either give you a second chance on your own, or they'll say, come on in here to our um, our shop and take a look at some of the ideas that are coming by us and see if any of those uh, work for you and we would partner you with the people who came in and pitched. Mm. So the idea, I don't want to give the impression that the idea for Google or whatever uh, isn't critical, but it's not the, uh, the determining or sole factor that it used to be. Tom, what are some of the, the red flags that you've seen from, from the view of venture capital partners and entrepreneurs uh, that, that say, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that? What, what, what mistakes have people made that we can learn from? Well, you know, I, it sounds like, uh, you know, one of these bromides or whatever, but if these guys won't listen, 
I think that is a huge red flag, and, and that is one of the things that the VCs will say. They love a person who is uh, confident in the idea of what they've got, but at the same time, they're looking for someone who is flexible and who will listen to criticism and who can really you know, uh, respond to it without getting their hackles up. So, uh, And that's not just with the VCs, it's whether they're open to that kind of feedback within the shop. And if they're not, uh, you know, we have a whole chapter that says, repeat after us, I am not Steve Jobs. You know, too many of our founders have read the Jobs biographies and think that they have to be a horse's patoot to succeed. And in fact, there's only one or two people who can do that. So the idea of listening, of building a team that is capable of challenging you rather than a bunch of lieutenants that will just salute those two things are critical, I think, in a VC's mindset and really for your company's long-term success. Well said. We're talking with Tom Hogan. He is the author, one of the authors of the book, The Ultimate Startup Guide, Marketing Lessons, War Stories, and Hard-Won Advice from Leading Venture Capitalists and Angel Investors. Tom, how do our listeners follow up with you and stay connected with you? Well, our website is www.crowdedocean.com, and if they're interested in the book, it's available online at Amazon and then at Barnes & Noble and then another, uh, a number of other brick-and-mortar stores uh, uh, throughout the country. Excellent, All right. excellent. All right, so final word of advice for somebody thinking about doing their startup or getting it off the ground today? I think, you. Yeah, first off, I... I you can do it uh, with far less money uh, than in the past. You can do a number of these things virtually uh, by bringing in uh, resources that don't require a full-time headcount. So I think the idea is now to be nimble, uh, to be cost-effective. There's a whole book out there called The Lean Startup, which basically says, you know, try these things out and then react very quickly to market reception rather than bunker down for two years and then come out with what you regard as a perfect uh, product. So I right. think if you're nimble and if you rely on outside resources wherever possible, those are the two elements that are going to make you uh, more successful and not have to sell your home and quit your job to give it a try. I love it. All right. Well, Tom Hogan, thank you for joining us. Folks, visit CrowdedOcean.com. That's CrowdedOcean.com. We sure appreciate your time, my friend. No, thank you, guys. All thank right. you. Thank you. Right? This is something I think that is uh, on everybody's mind. And who knows? Oh, sure. You might just have the next best idea out there. Well, our next best idea out there is our Spring Fling and Juicy advertising deal, which is a $1,600 advertising package you can get for only $495 a month. There's only a handful of them left since we kicked it off on Friday. Right. So soon you're going to be hearing all sorts of fun new advertisers here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. But if you're interested in the Spring Fling and Deal, call Cecil, 720-474-9052. There you have it. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric. And this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business.
The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk 1690. .com Life, it's yours to own. And when you're considering the purchase or refinance of a home, you want to know that the people helping you are looking out for your best interests, not just the best interest rates. Cheryl Braunschweiger and her team at Nova Home Loans are trusted members of the Experience Pros Network. And yes, they're ready to help you today. Call today, 720-279-5939. That's 720-279-5939. And let Nova Home Loans take care of everything. Life, it's yours to own. Nova Home Loans can help. NMLS ID 3087. Business owners and marketing professionals learn how to promote and grow your business online by attending the Denver Digital Download presented by Get Found Fast, Denver's premier digital marketing firm. Inverness Hotel, Wednesday, April 19th at 9 a.m. Learn the latest techniques for getting leads, improving your website, and growing your revenue online. Digital experts will be on hand to give you a free on-site analysis of your online presence. Register and save your spot now at GetFoundFast.com. GetFoundFast.com. Hi, I'm Carl Deichler, the CEO of Beachbody, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing new way you can start losing weight for free right now. You've probably seen our workout DVDs on TV like P90X, Insanity, and 21 Day Fix. We just launched a beta trial of our new digital video platform, Beachbody On Demand. So while we're testing out this new digital video service, I'm inviting you to use it for free for 30 days. That means you can lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, even 30 pounds without paying a dime. Text the word TRIAL to 303030 and you can do 30 days of P90X, Insanity, or any of over 400 workouts for free. And here's the catch. In return, all I ask is you let us know what you think of the service so we can make Beachbody On Demand the best fitness and weight loss site ever created. Just text TRIAL to 303030. And get started for free right now. Again, text TRIAL to 303030. Message and data rates may apply. Membership fees apply after 30-day free trial. Cancel anytime. Hi, this is Oren, owner of Absolutely Cabinets. Since 1989, I've sold aristocrat cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocraft, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with solid wood fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, with soft clothes automatically on drawers and doors. From basic up, I can put you into cabinetry that will fit all your wants and needs. Thanks to all my repeat and referral customers over the years. Go visit Oren's showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue. Or give him a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592. Or visit AbsolutelyCabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays. Hey there, Dan Shakini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. See what our family can do for your family. 800-362-8370. Question, would you seat your three-year-old child on a windowsill? And would you seat them in a car seat that's not the correct one? Secure their future. Seat them in the correct car seat. More info at safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Dragon Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a Fan Dragon story of great customer service by using the hashtag Fan Brag or calling the Fan Dragon Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer here helping you get your business right. Chances are you have some form of health insurance, but chances are even greater that you don't know what you have. Right. You, I, you hear this oftentimes from insurance, the insurance industry is we as the consumer have no clue 
what our coverage covers, what we have, what we don't have, any of that. And April is National Financial Financial Literacy Month. And with national health care spending exceeding $3.2 trillion annually, there's no better time than the present to evaluate, evaluate your financial well-being and take crucial steps to become educated and savvy health care consumers, right? Because right now, it's all all the out-of-pocket medical expenses mm-hmm. expenses have increased and medical expenses are now accounting for 8% of annual household spending. Here to talk about it is our expert, Rebecca Madsen, Chief Consumer Officer of United Healthcare. She's going to give us some money-saving tips to help us better navigate the healthcare system, save some money, and maybe even improve the health of ourselves and our family members. Rebecca Madsen, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks so much for having me today. You're very welcome, Rebecca. Let's start with uh, a lesson in language. I think that uh, a lot of people do not understand, or in fact, according to the re- recent survey that came out, uh, it says only 7% of Americans actually know the difference between the words premium, deductible, copayment, and coinsurance. What's going on there? Yeah, what you say is exactly right. Only about 7% of people do understand those terms. And we know people also don't spend the time to educate themselves and know the basics. People would rather shop for a phone or a TV or a refrigerator or just about anything than spending time on their health care. <laughs> All right. So what do these words mean? What's the difference between a premium and a d- deductible? A premium is the amount that you pay every month for your health insurance. If you have an employer-based plan, it's the amount that comes out of your paycheck. If it's a deductible, a deductible is the amount that you pay out of pocket before your insurance kicks in. So say you have a $1,000 deductible, you pay that $1,000 yourself, and then after that, the insurance kicks in. All right, all right. And the difference between co-payment and co-insurance? So these are two that people get confused a lot. Copayment is a fixed dollar amount. So you may be familiar if you go to the doctor's office and you pay $20, that's a copayment. And they're usually copayments for hospital visits or ER visits or doctors, depending on, you know, what tier the doctor is or if your drug is a generic versus a brand name drug. So coinsurance is a percentage. So usually after your deductible kicks in, you'll have a coinsurance, say 80% or 20%. So if you have $200 medical costs and you pay 20%, that's $40. So it's important for people to look at the difference because the coinsurance, since it's a percentage, if the medical expense goes up, your amount that you will pay out of pocket will go up as well. Okay. All right. So we're getting ourselves educated. We're learning the lingo. I can't believe that only 7% right. of Americans can describe that. However, I did not know what the coinsurance was. And so now I've, I've learned something today. One of the things we, we hear a lot about and we've been, we've actually interviewed several people talking about the, these virtual doctors and, and not actually having to go into the doctor's appointment, um, to be diagnosed for some, you know, more of these, um, I don't know, for a cold, so to speak. Is that saving money? Is that helping us? Is that making a difference in how much we're all spending annually on our health care? Well, you bring up a great point, which is virtual doctor visits, also things like urgent care and convenience care clinics. Convenience is super important to people. We know people don't have a ton of time, and so it's access. Maybe their doctor isn't available or they don't have an appointment. And using things such as these virtual visits that technology enables. So you may be able to sit in your house or sit at your desk and have a conversation with a doctor over the internet and it can be a lot less expensive. So say a virtual visit would cost $50. If you went to an urgent care clinic, that may cost $150, but the ER could cost up to $1,500. But Rebecca, so a huge cost differential. W- w- yep. With the uh, the virtual thing though, the doctor or, or the doctor's assistant can't stick the stick down my throat and make me gag. 
Right. No, exactly. So the virtual visits work for certain things. And, and if there is a situation where you have, say, a very sore throat and you may have a strep throat, that is something that you would obviously need to go into the doctor's office or an urgent care clinic. But having the virtual visit will enable them to be able to say, okay, we think you need to come in gotcha. versus if you don't have those symptoms, you may not be able to. Yeah, you know, I just to. I just remember so many times you know, especially when my, my kids were little and they would have something and, you know, to pack them up and, and you don't feel good or they don't feel good. And you're sitting in the waiting room with all these other people who are really sick. And it just seemed like not a great idea. And within a minute, the doctor's like, I know what's wrong. I'm here's your prescription right. and bye bye. And so now that this whole virtual thing and we can log in, I just think it's brilliant. And of course, you know, the amount of time, money that, that everybody is saving, even for the, for the doctors to be able to, to care for their patients this way, you know, that it, it's almost like going back to doing house calls right. without having, without really having to, to lead, you know, to leave the office. And then you don't get sicker by waiting around in the waiting room with sick people who are waiting mm -hmm. for that I, as well. I remember, yeah. I remember reading a quote one time that if, if, if you don't make time for health and wellness sooner or later, you're going to have to pay, you know, for, for, for illness, for illness yeah. right? And so I think prevention is, is a big key to keeping us, you know, keeping our, our expenses and costs down. Do you have any recommendations for just staying healthier? Well, the, you mentioned prevention, so doing basic things like getting your annual exam. That's a great way for your doctor to be able to tell you what is your baseline, what's normal for you. But also take advantage of employer wellness programs. About 70% of employers have wellness programs where they offer financial incentives. So we were talking before about saving money. Yeah. We have one at United Healthcare called United Healthcare Motion where people can save up to $1,500 a year. But look at your benefits, often the incentives are for things as basic as going to a gym or using something like a Fitbit or other fitness tracker or just even getting a health coaching appointment. You'll be able to save money and stay healthier as well. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca, for being with us Absolutely. today and talking about financial literacy. Right? It, it, you know, we can't just, pre you know, plead ignorant. We have got to right. step in and take care of ourselves and, and find out what is really covered. Talk to our doctors and get the information that we're looking for. Do you have uh, contact information if anybody wants to follow up with you, Rebecca? Sure. The best place to go for information where you can learn more about what we talked about today, such as basic terminology and how to use benefits and, and health savings um, accounts and other types of financial tips. If you go to our website, uhc.com forward slash healthcare ABCs, there will be a ton of information there available to people. It's uhc.com forward slash healthcare ABCs. I love that. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. You know, just taking the time to review your policies, all yeah, your coverage, right. right? Your auto insurance, your health insurance, your home insurance, all of that, and just recognizing it. So often it's just a bill that just gets paid every month. And acknowledging whether or not, you know, if you're reviewing that and, and you don't recognize a term or uh, what what may, may be... Um, you know, you are being charged for, but you don't realize maybe you have vision and, or dental and you didn't know. Exactly. And and, and that I, I'd like to say that that's a, a ridiculous notion, but I think it happens all the time. Oh, it happened. It, it happens in our household yeah. um, you, because you forget there are changes and in, in what you used to have or what you have now. And and so just taking taking the time to review it and you you would be surprised there. Are, and there are actually even I, I think you, there are brokers that will actually review oh, you your bills and review what you have and then go to work on your behalf to find you the, the right deal. Yeah, the right fit. And, and and I know there's a window when it comes to insurance, um, you know, your healthcare insurance. But, but no time like the presence you, to know what you're doing it, so that you can get in there the next time you get there. Yeah, do it now so you're ready because so often we put it off and now it's too late. We've got some of those uh, brokers in the Extreme Customer Service Directory found at experiencepros.com. Go ahead and check it out, experiencepros.com. And if you'd like your company represented by our company, 
go ahead and click the free 30-day trial. We'd be honored to show you what we can do before we ever ask for a single penny. We'll be right back. This is Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. The sun's been shining on the stock market for a long time now. Are you worried about cloudy or stormy days to come? Hi, I'm Linda Gardner, host of Your Money, Your Retirement, heard right here every weekend. If the market tumbles, how will you protect your assets? Where should your money be now? Why not schedule a complimentary stress test of your portfolio? Call 720-488-8604. That's 720-488-8604. Or online at yourmoneyyourretirement.com. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you $250. I know, it sounds crazy giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. People who can afford a LASIK procedure sure are lucky. Imagine being able to throw away your contacts and glasses. Imagine waking up tomorrow with 20-20 vision. Too bad everyone can't afford LASIK. Well, guess what? There's a company that agrees with you. The LASIK Vision Institute is now offering dramatically low prices on high-quality LASIK to make it affordable for everyone. That means you get the latest FDA-approved LASIK technology for a fraction of what others charge. And if you call right now, we'll schedule a free appointment so you can discover if LASIK is right for you. Results may vary. Call 1-800-600-1559. Even better, call right now and you can get an extra 20% discount off our already low-cost services. We've already performed over a million procedures. Let us help you. Discover how you can get the quality LASIK experience you deserve at a fraction of what others charge. For your free appointment, call 1-800-600-1559. 1-800-600-1559. 1-800-600-1559. Cool your home for 25 cents a day. You can cool your entire house, even upstairs for pennies a day, reduce or even eliminate the air conditioning use on most days, and be even more comfortable at the same time. I'm Seymour, and my company, AtticFan.com, has helped Colorado homeowners cool their homes for over 37 years with quiet, whole-house attic fans. They're cheap to run and inexpensive to install. This is a proven technology that will increase your comfort and reduce your energy bills at the same time. Our fans work great in any style of house and will even cool those upstairs bedrooms without air conditioning. Call us today at 303-695-7911 or visit us online at atticfan.com for free estimates, information, and advice. 303-695-7911 or atticfan.com. Mention this ad for a special discount. Your only regret will be that you didn't do it sooner. 303-695-7911 or atticfan.com. Are you embarrassed by your smile? Are you unable to eat the foods you love, afraid to laugh, afraid to live a normal life, even afraid to go out in public? Dr. Barrett's with Barrett's Dental here. I believe that you deserve a smile that you can be proud of so you can live your life the way you want, with the peace of mind that you can smile without embarrassment and that your mouth is healthy. At Barrett's Dental, we want to help you get your life back. I invite you to my office for a free consultation where you can find out for yourself if you are comfortable at Barrett's Dental. We offer total dental solutions meaning we can handle all of your dental care in one convenient location without referring you all over town. If you feel safe at Barrett's Dental, it's the last place you'll need to visit to get the care you need. Is the condition of your mouth causing you to live a life of quiet desperation? Call me. I'll take great care of you. If you're looking for a safe place to take care of all your dental needs, call Barrett's Dental at 303-502-5527. 
or visit denverdentist.com. Are you concerned about outliving your money? How would you like to have guaranteed growth and a lifetime of income you could never outlive? Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book at 866-780-7233, 866-780-SAFE. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for tuning in. If you're watching by way of our Facebook Live, do us a favor, if you will, please hit that share button and let other people know that there's a revolution going on in the way people treat people in business. Thanks so much for tuning in to Positive Business Talk Mm -hmm. today. Who says that the typical work environment is Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, you need meetings, you need emails, you need bosses. Oh. Let's just shake this whole thing up. No, I think everybody says that. Everybody does. Yes. Well, we're going to give you a case study of one company who says, mm, no, you don't. Really? This company called Medium has more than 40 employees, received investments of $25 million, and they are throwing the flag on bosses, emails, and meetings. <laughs> They've, and, and work days, apparently. They've and work received, days, yes. <laughs> they've received $25 million? Yes, okay. yes, right? You have my undivided attention. All right, well, think about this. Constant right. meetings inter- interrupt the progress of your day, right? Agreed. Um, and, you know, and somebody else evaluating your work when they don't really know the technical side behind what you're doing. Oh, that happens every day. Is really, you know, seems a little dumb. Right. And so then the lack of people that the right people making decisions versus the people doing the work, it just seemed to be in their minds broken. But those technical technical people aren't really necessary to the overall right? operation. So here's here's uh, some of the main reasons that one, they considered, you know, making some changes. Uh, they said that millions of books have been written in relation to the balance of work life balance. Sure. Right? It's impossible if you work five days a week and only have Two days. To, oh, so to we're playing the teeter totter on the seven time, day work family, week. Family, sports, right. right? Right. All of that. I, I think right? I understand. So, that. working all that and everything else, you only get two days to do it in. Okay. Uh, the competitive advantage to get the best new members um, was. You know, to be, you know, in order to be more competitive, competitively advantaged right. in the marketplace to attract the best team members. Um, they also observed was the smaller amount of sick leaves or time off asked. Because of the need to attend a doctor's appointment sure. or something like that. And so um, because of the famous English doctor, John Ashton, indicated, they said, we should change and work only four days a week oh. sig- to significantly lower the stress that is damaging people's health. Had to go all the way to England to find a doctor yeah. who would say right. that on the record. And then finally, they said, when we start our week on Mondays, we're all fresh and renewed to start working again. The quality of work accomplished is definitely much higher. And in this age of technology, it's not about the quantity, but the quality. So the so they're doing better. They're doing more with less, well, they say. There, there's certainly nothing that I can say about somebody who's got a $25 million uh, investment. Right? But they that, say, you know, the, the thought is because you're taking one day off that you're you're putting in 20% less work, right? Sure. You go from five days down to four. So 20% less productive than if you work five days, okay. which is why people can't really get their heads around it. Um, but here's what they, they ended up doing. They have some policies that they, that they started to implement in their, in their changes. Um, they only hired, this was obviously a technical company that they only hired engineers and programmers. So every member of the team needed to know how to write code from the person in charge of customer service to the one in charge of marketing. Everybody was an engineer. Yep. And then there was a constant rotation. Um, the person in charge of customer service will be the one in charge of programming the following month, and then they'll be in charge of sales the month after. And so they they just kind of shifted their roles every month. Interesting. I think that is interesting. So your job, maybe this month I'm customer service, next month I'm marketing, next month I'm engineering, Will programming. you take the technical side uh, next month? 
Well, you didn't hire an engineer. That's see, you have to go back to step oh, number one. Oh, you got to go back to. Oh, yeah, see, gotcha. go step number one. I understand. Um, we just don't need it. Well, and so they, um, and so then they, they, they got their hiring down, right? But then here's the next thing they did. Right. They eliminated meetings and emails. I think I love these people. Yeah, they said this is the most important item to completely eliminate the meetings, um, and so. Uh, and emails. And so their emails were no longer a to-do list of pending tasks. They're, they're not going to be interrupted at all for, for meetings anymore. Efficiency isn't lost because there's m- so much time being spent in meetings. Okay, have, yes. Have, yes. You have a, have you have a question. A, yes. If we eliminate the meetings, I'm all for it. Or if we eliminate the emails, okay. How do we get the things done? So they actually developed an internal control panel where they listed all the projects they are working on and assigned each what each member of the team is using their time on. So there's a control panel where all the projects are listed, where they're at in the process and who's working on it. So um, it, it so they said this changed from what, an area of which the boss came around and started, this is what you need to do and this is what you're doing next and who, blah, blah, blah. You mean the role of the boss? To do a pool men- mentality in which – we are the ones who voluntarily get involved based on the goals of the company and help so make it progress. So the boss is asking, what are you doing instead of You're doing looking this. at the control panel and see what needs to get done. Interesting. And we're all just doing what needs to get done. We see it's almost, um, do you remember Do you remember in, in elementary school, um, you know, having a, each student was get assigned a job and you'd pull like a popsicle stick. And so you were the line leader or you took out the trash sure. or you took yeah. the notes to the principal's office. I'm the mayor. Yeah. And so it's like pulling a popsicle stick every day. And this is the part that I'm going to work on. And every day you pull your popsicle stick and that's what you're doing. <laughs> I will not be pulling my popsicle stick every day. But I do believe that it is a, a good idea in the sense of cross training and well-rounded employees. You know, I, I kind of I kind of like the popsicle do stick you? idea. All right. I mean that that means though that somebody's got to make sure the popsicle sticks are made and it, and, it, and it makes sure that everybody is cross trained yeah. to handle whatever popsicle stick they decide to pull that day. Yeah, um, and so if it's working for some companies, you know, maybe the all or nothing isn't necessarily the direction you need to go and throw it all out, but but there might be some, there might just be something to. Let's just throw it all out on the table. And just because we've always done it this way right. doesn't mean we need to keep doing it. Remember, if we're going to change, we can't just work with what we have. Nope. We have to change we, requires an open mind, right? We have to have a mindset of where we're going instead not, of not where we've been, where we've been. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's a, a solid uh, presentation. Um, not sure about getting rid of both meetings and emails, but. You were so excited about it yesterday, though, when I mentioned one it. One or the other. One or the other. I didn't uh, realize you were going to throw don't the, even read the baby emails. out with the bathwater. I, I don't. <laughs> and you don't like attending meetings. I would think you'd be all over this. Mr. 4,712 emails unread. It is 4,553. Oh, I was Thank way you. off. We'll be back after these messages in the top of the hour news. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Bros Radio Show. Home of positive business talk and the best music you'll ever find on a business radio show. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raver. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDNT, Arvada, Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.
she's very adorable in glasses. Who is it that? Daryl. Oh, we oh, sure. do. We do. <coughs> He's right. It's a good look for you. Even when you got yours, I do. Just miserable. Yeah, but I wasn't miserable because of the way I looked. I'm not miserable with the way I look. Okay. I can't. If you can't see, it, right? Yeah, that's that's the issue right there. They're just awkward. All right. Promo. Yes. Um. um about uh, five ways to build a strong personal brand. Okay. And for those of you who are watching by way of our Facebook Live, uh, and thank you, Daryl. We appreciate your uh, commentary out there streaming this from his Lyft utility uh, on the 95 freeway in Florida. Uh, This is how we cut a promo for tomorrow's show. So you're actually getting a behind the scenes during our national commercial f- or, uh, news feed. This is Angel and Eric during the middle of the show, com- uh, cutting a promo for tomorrow's show. All right. So what was it? Five? Um, five ways to build a strong personal brand. Okay. Three, two, one. One. Step one, remove your finger from your nose. Hi, this is Angel and coming up on the next Experience Pros Radio Show. Take a shower at least once a day. We're going to give you some steps on how you can improve your personal brand. Woody Allen, the king of personal brand, says, show up. Positive business talk weekday afternoons right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Where you go, your brand follows. Business never takes a break. Neither do we. So take Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM with you with our brand new mobile app. Stay up to the minute with breaking news, market strategies, current trends, and more wherever you are. With live streaming, listen to your favorite Money Talk shows whenever you want, on demand. It's like a personal advisor in your pocket. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Download the brand new Money Talk app on iTunes or the Google Play Store or at moneytalk1690.com. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money MoneyTalk1690.com. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of Lists That Saved My Business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And boy, we're excited to have you on board for today's program. We've got great guests lined up. We've got great topics to talk about. And Angel, coming soon. In, and it kind of goes along with our, our first hour, uh, top of the hour segment. We talked about breakthrough goals, setting breakthrough goals. Yes. Coming soon, and like in a week or so, we're going to be talking about the breakthrough power boost getting ready to be launched by Experience Pros. Yes, we are launching the Breakthrough Power Boost. It's going to be a weekly motivational online let's get her done. 
Don Motivation coming straight That's from right. the Experience Prison. We're kicking it off live from the beaches of Mexico. Well, we're better to, uh, to, to present this. I mean, if we're talking about breaking through, then you've got to be able to demonstrate what a breakthrough appear, appears like, right? And uh, it is. We go every year. We take a whole bunch of people to, uh, to Mexico. And it, you, you got into business, create a lifestyle, right, folks? Well, let's be about it and not just talking. Right. And so often, you know, you, we just, we just get into a rut. We get into sure. a routine and then we forget there's still so much more potential and possibility out there. And there's still much, so much opportunity that we've got to get it in our minds. So we're going to work on mindset. Yep. It's going to be a weekly podcast that, uh, virtual podcast. So you can tune in from anywhere, anywhere in the world to tune in. Uh, we're launching it from Mexico and it will be open uh, to the public, the launch. But then going forward, it, members of experience, it's exclusive bros. to our members. But you can try us out Absolutely. with our 30 day free trial at experiencepros.com. And you'll be able to get this uh, superpower. What is it? Superpower breakthrough. Superpower uh, no, it's boost. called the breakthrough power boost. Breakthrough. Oh, that's so much simpler than yeah. what I was trying to make it. That's all right. You were the one who wrote it. So <laughs> <laughs> the breakthrough power that was boost. So three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of the head trash. We're gonna get rid of the obstacles. The things the the things that start with can't and won't. We're gonna eliminate four letter words from your business language, and not just your business language, but your personal language. The more you can say yes to something rather than saying no to something, the more positive you are, the more you realize that you can and in fact should do these things, then the uh, the, the, the faster you achieve the success that you're looking for. And isn't that what we're all looking for? A breakthrough power boost in the success quotient? Right. Your brain doesn't really care if you're successful or not, but it will do everything you tell it to do and it will believe everything you you tell it. So we're going to work on those beliefs are our, our, like Eric said, head trash, self-talk, all of that and put action in place. So look for that. It's coming straight from the beaches of Mexico in just uh, about two weeks. And then it launches into the experience pros network. It'll be a weekly, a weekly touch base accountability call and all of that. And you get it as part of your experience pros membership network. So sign up today, start Absolutely. your free trial right now at experiencepros.com. Click on the free trial button that's right there at the top of every single page. So let's talk about setting some goals and and actually accomplishing goals. How about, let, you know, we set them. Well, now let's do them. And sometimes things don't happen as fast as we'd like, right? I My son goes to the gym. He's 19 years old and he comes back with rock hard abs. Right. It doesn't work like that for me. I, I, it was, what's the meme? I, I must be allergic to food because I break out in fat every time I eat. <laughs> right? And so we don't necessarily have the, this instantaneous results that we're looking for. My friend, Lisa Nichols, she says, instead of putting in her calendar, you know, work out or check emails or, uh, you know, go to the grocery store, whatever, like in, you know, in her to-do list or right. scheduling, like she like for, for working out, she's like, you know, get my rock hard body. Oh. Right. You know, and that's what I'm doing. It, it, so you put the goal in mind, the, the vision. Okay. You know, build up, you know, you know, build up my revenue, multiply our worth. And and so putting the goal into the calendar versus the to do and the action steps. So but we've got to check our expectations. Oftentimes we compare our starting point to somebody else's. They've been there. They put in the work and, and right. they're much further along the journey than we are. What's the the phrase? It takes ten years to become an overnight success. That is the phrase. You know, now with with social media, I think we can we can multiply that a lot faster than that. But the thing the thing is, is overnight success is a myth. Instant achievement, instant success. Just add water, and thirty seconds later, you got your everything you want. That I think I like that right? idea. We do live in a microwave world, and in many cases, some things you can do that. But for but when it comes to when it comes to really changing who you are. Yeah. And in creating something, a legacy, a lifestyle, you know, building your character, you, it's a process. Uh, absolutely. And, and every step of the way, you are building up the core of that process. And so we're going to take baby steps. And some days we're going to achieve lots, yep. leaps and bounds. And then there are going to be days that we feel like we're just stale and stagnant. Here's another point that's really going to help your your mindset, if you will. And that is to focus on what's working 
not on what isn't working. And how many times do our managers, our bosses, ourselves jump into the mindset of, you haven't done this, you haven't done that, this isn't working, that's not going well, and and all we hear is the negative. But if you were to just shift that just a little bit and focus on what is working, your frustration will go down significantly. Instead of thinking it'll never work, I'm not good enough, or something must be wrong with me, which is the message we hear every day. Instead of that, kind of hang out on the front side of it and say, you know what? I am good enough. I'm doing this well. And what do you say? Baby steps, right? It is. Baby steps lead to positive results. Right? Yeah, but we do. We focus on the negative. You know, when we come home from work and what do we say to our kids? You didn't empty the dishwasher. You didn't do your homework. You didn't, you didn't, yep. but we did do something in every day. And, and if, and, and some days you, maybe it's true. You didn't do something, right? Well, don't let too many days uh, let that go by where that is the case. Right. right? Put in your daily expectations, those daily goals, those daily activities that you need to be working on and make sure that those are the first things that you accomplish in your day. And then keep a written record of success. This is how you negate that, that uh, either the voice, whether it's a real voice of your boss or your coworker saying you're not good enough or the one in your head. You keep uh, a written record of, of success. Angel, by nature, we are built in with a negative bias. That's why our show, our radio show, our business, everything that we do at Experience Pros is a revolution in the way people treat people in business because most people would rather just moan and groan. Okay. Yes. Now, Jim Rohn, he recommends, he's the, the motivational speaker, best-selling author. He says, here's his favorite way to get more done okay. every day. And anytime somebody says that, here's my favorite way to get more done every day, I take notice. And he says he follows the rule of five. The rule of five. The rule of five. So every day he identifies five specific things things that he wants to do to get to accomplish, to get closer to his goal. And then he doesn't call it quits until he's crossed off every one of those fives of those things off of the list. Now, here's the thing. It's actually going to give you a structure to your day, a proven structure that will ensure that you accomplish more every single day. Too often, we don't start with this, this list of things of where we're going. True. And we allow the day we allow the emails. We allow other people to really dictate the product productivity of our day. But he says, this is also going to give you a clearer sense of what's actually achievable in a day. And so you can round up your goals or scale them back so that they are constantly moving or consistently moving forward without exhausting yourself by working until midnight hey, every night, hey, Mr. Entrepreneur. Hey, absolutely. And finally, and this is probably the biggest of them all. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and take big action. You know, let's say you're doing all these things that we just talked about. You're still not happy with the results that you're seeing. Here's a question to consider. Have you taken any big action to launch yourself out of your current situation and closer to the life of your dreams? You might be taking action, but is it the same kind of action you've always taken? Mm. Take big action. Dream big dreams. Put it into big motion. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. You remember the scene in Indiana Jones and the Temple of uh, Doom where he was uh, had to walk. You know, he had to find a way across this chasm. Right. And he finally just said that the, the steps of a righteous man avails much. And he stepped out in faith only to find that it was a bridge that was camouflaged. But you got to take that big but action. But it was there. And how often do we we don't see what is there until we step out and take action your kindness act of the day is yes. to compliment everybody you run into everybody you interact with today say something nice look for something to give them a compliment and if somebody compliments you say thank you i love the music the big man chad brings on the experience bros radio show i'm practicing we'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages thank you for tuning in the Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDAM 
KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. You know, for decades, Wall Street professionals have been using computers to trade stocks and make profits every single day. Sounds like a great idea, right? But who has the time or the expertise to monitor the market constantly? I'm sure you don't. That is why it's time to introduce to you the first and only robotic stock trader in the world, designed to automatically rake profits out of the market unattended. Created by a retired Microsoft programmer, this app allows you to trade like the pros on Wall Street. Sound too good to be true? Go to CoolTrade.org and download the app for free. Watch the proprietary algorithms work and see how profits are generated. No obligation, no software to download, no credit card needed. You could see 5, 10, and even 15% return a month. Where else can you get that? Go to CoolTrade.org. That's CoolTrade.org. That's CoolTrade.org. And experience this game-changing technology. Go to CoolTrade.org and start taking profits out of the market today. Your credit card companies love you. They love it when your cards stay maxed out. They love it when you only make minimum payments. They love it when you struggle. Why? Because they own you. And minimum payments mean maximum profits. Here's great news. National Debt Relief is now offering you free information on how to escape your credit card debt nightmare. If you owe more than $10,000 in credit card debt and are only barely making minimum payments, know this. You may not have to pay it all back. In fact, you may have the right to settle that debt for only a fraction of what you owe. National Debt Relief has helped thousands of people get rid of over $500 million of debt. And they're A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. Get the information you need for free right now before this offer goes away. Call National Debt Relief now and escape your credit card debt troubles. 800-691-2148. 800-691-2148. 800-691-2148. This is Catherine Cooper. My husband, retired Master Gunnery Sergeant Jeffrey Cooper, and I survived a near-death head-on motorcycle crash. We called attorney Jeremy K. for help. He worked day and night to get us what we were entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy Cave even makes house calls. He's been there for us every step of the way. He helped us understand our rights and answered all of our questions. Cave Law understands that many of you folks who listen to this station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. Well, I certainly do. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation. 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720-213-3737. Or check out the brand new website, CaveLawyer.com. That's CaveLawyer.com. Personal and caring service from Cave Law. Call Jeremy today, 720-213-3737. Hi, it's Peter Boyles. I'm in my 70s now. I feel physically better, emotionally better than ever. Bypass surgery and made no secret now about my recovery from drugs and alcohol. All these things aside, the most amazing thing that happened to me in these last couple of years was meeting physician MD and my great family friend, Dr. Julie McCallan. She's changed my life, my daughter's life, and so many others. Are you struggling with low energy and a widening waistline? Are you having trouble sleeping? If you exercise, has your exercise stopped making you stronger and leaner? Have you lost your drive, your motivation, and your zest for life? Get into Cynogenics Denver and let us measure your metabolism, your hormones, your brain health and physical fitness, and we'll get things working right again. I know you become a fan of Dr. McCallan, the physicians at Cynogenics. Call 720-387-3681. Speak to her executive assistant, Jackie. Arrange for a free 20-minute phone call with one of the docs. A 20-minute gift will change your life. 720-387-3681. 720-387-3681. Or visit Cynogenics-Denver.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for some positive business talk. Angel, I look in the mirror. I got bags under my eyes. I got a double chin. And frankly... I can't seem to get rid of this belly fat. You know, even today, I'm just feeling a little worn down. And so I'm reverted back to wearing my readers, my little glasses, and I just can't seem to get used to them. Yeah, but there are a lot of procedures. There's a lot of things that we can do. If you're not really happy with the way that you look, 
Um, there are some, there's, there's such thing as a mommy makeover. Have you ever heard of that? I, you I, probably have it. <laughs> I have it, but I think I'm uh, interested. But there are a number of procedures aimed at restoring an uncooperative figure uh, back to either your pre-motherhood form or maybe maybe you know, what you had in your 20s or 30s, right? And choosing the right surgeon is one of the most important decisions in the mommy makeover process, says Dr. Michael Bergdorf. He's the founder of Music City Plastic Surgery. Now, he's also the author of the book, The Mommy Makeover, Restoring Your Body After Childbirth. You can find him online at drmichaelbergdorf.com. He says, certainly you want someone who knows what they're doing, but you also need to feel comfortable with that Absolutely. person. So have you ever thought about having a mo mommy makeover or trying to figure out which procedures are right for you? Michael Bergdorf is your guy. Dr. Bergdorf, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Hey, thanks for having me. Dr. Bergdorf, uh, I am not a mommy. However, I've been referred to as a mother many times. Uh, <laughs> is, is it possible that uh, that, that women want, I, I sense that, that once women have children and the biological changes happen, this then becomes the, uh, the, the, the prime time, if you will, for updating the look. Am, am I, am I correct in that? Absolutely. Yeah. The, you know, the whole process of childbirth and child rearing really takes a, a real big toll on the mother. I, I read a paper during residency when uh, my wife was pregnant, I think with our second or third, and it said that uh, breastfeeding didn't affect the shape of the breast at all. Um, I think I spent the night in the doghouse there outside um, because that's totally false. The body changes and, and the baby wreaks havoc on the mom's mom's body. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a prime time. Breasts, hips, tummy, all of that. They are never the same. And, you know, and I think sometimes, you know, there's, there are there are these moms that just bounce right back. But after two and three babies and I gained, um, I had a set of twins uh, my first mm -hmm. go around. And um, I've got, you know, and probably none of our listeners knew they were going to find this out about Angel. But all of my babies were C-sections and okay. um, an emergency C-section. So I'm oh, like boy. the bride of Frankenstein um, oh. in, in my abdomen. But I know a lot of times people confuse plastic surgery with cosmetic surgery. I didn't. I would have been in that boat. You're saying that there's actually a difference. There are, yeah. There, there. A lot of the plastic surgeons can be cosmetic surgeons, but the reverse is not always true. So, as a board certified plastic surgeon, I've gone through years of training, at least five years of surgical training, and then two additional into plastic surgery. Then through a whole rigorous bank of tests, where multiple choice testing, and then actually oral exams, where we sit in front of a, a panel of other surgeons and they just grill you about what you've done in the operating room to make sure it's ethical, safe, and appropriate. Cosmetic surgeons, on the other hand, uh, can be from other specialties and just take a weekend course. Mm -hmm. So legally, you know, any doctor can practice any specialty they want. So I could legally deliver your child, although you wouldn't want that, <laughs> just like you wouldn't necessarily want an OBGYN to do your tummy tuck or your facelift. All right, Dr. Bergdorf, I got to. Yeah, that's interesting... what actually happened is they tried to do my tummy tuck. Well, that's what I, go out so well. I want to ask about that. And, and not just on <laughs> behalf not of the Angel, tummy tuck, but, but yeah. on behalf of all the people who are in Angel's position who say, you know, I feel like the Bride of Frankenstein. There's, there's scar tissue there and, and whatnot. Is it possible many years, decades past, to create a smooth exterior, even though it was fixed as best as they could back in the day? Absolutely. And, and what I tell my patients over and over again is, look, the OBGYN, their main goal is to get that baby out. Mm -hmm. My goal is to make those scars beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we will use or improve upon those C-section scars. Mm -hmm. Many times they're, they're hidden well underneath the bikini line. And that's where we want that scar to go. So but there tends to be sometimes a little shelf that develops or a little overhang. Um, and, you, know, you talked about having twins and we, we very often refer to the rubber band, the stretched out rubber band phenomenon. Mm -hmm. With that belly being really stretched out, that skin may not stretch back to where it needs to go, and we can remove that with a tummy tuck very, very easily. Oh, wow. I'm kind of liking the sound oh, of this, I, right? You know? So my my youngest, my baby is 19 years old, and so it's been it's been a long time. And you know, when they were little, it was really kind of my they were like my warrior scars. You know, so proud because right. I, you know my babies. Uh, they were life and death experiences. And the fact that we all came out of that alive, healthy and wealthy and wise, right? It was, was a battle scar that I was proud of. But now, you know, many years later, it's like, do I really still have to, do I have to look at that? So, I mean, how clearly do I, you have to express your wants and desires for your surgery? Or, or can we just trust that, don't you know what a perfect tummy looks like and you're just going to give me one? <laughs> 
Well, yes and no. I mean, I always, I always joke. People come into my office and say, "Well, what would you do? What would you do with me?" And I say, "No, no, no. What do you want done? I can always find something." Don't, don't right? slip into but the trap. Exactly. I'm not pointing things out, and then they're going to come out and say, "Well, I didn't even think about that. Right. Now I feel awful. That totally defeated my purpose. I yeah. want to make you feel better and more confident." So, um, you know, it's good to have some some idea in a generality, in a general sense of, of what you might, you know, body part, body area that you want to get uh, fixed up and then leave it up to the surgeon to say, yeah, you know what? A tummy tuck is actually better than liposuction. Um, liposuction may actually just kind of deflate that area even further and make it look worse. Um, whereas a tummy tuck can actually remove that skin and uh, improve the overall appearance. Okay. So how, so, you know, 19 years, probably long enough to wait, but you know, I, you know, how long should you wait after you've had have you had a baby to go in and have have any work done? Well, there's never never the perfect time, and as a as a mom, you I'm sure you can attest to this. There's always something that comes up, right? There's always schedules that you have to fit in uh, amongst your life with the kids, with your husband, your own schedule. Um, so that perfect time just never comes around. And so, um, you know, the earliest part we want to do this is we want to make sure that the mom is done breastfeeding. And that she's allowed her body to get back to, to normal. So the breasts have to regress and, and shrink, uh, you know, get rid of all the milk that's in there. So that's usually three to six months after you've done breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Um, we always encourage a mom to try to get back into somewhat, uh, you know, physical shape after, uh, after her baby. And that doesn't mean doing, you know, training for a marathon in between diaper changes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just doing what you can to let that body get back to normal. So usually three to six months after uh, after the baby's born. The, our guest is Dr. Michael Bergdorf, the author of Mo- The Mommy Makeover, Restoring Your Body After Childbirth. You can find more information about him and get a copy of the book at drmichaelbergdorf.com. And one final question for you, Dr. Bergdorf. Uh, I see that you played ball in Notre Dame. Uh, you look about my age. Did you play with Steve Bernline? No, he was he was slightly before me, but I did play on Lou Holtz's last team at Notre Dame. All right. All okay, right. so that was there Eric's final question. My final question, we have like 12 oh. seconds. How long does it take to recover from a tummy tuck? Typically two to three weeks. Wow. You're oh. back to work, you know, back to normal by a week, and then you need another couple of weeks to just re- get the I never, I never thought of it. Like, go. I never actually had the conversation Easy. with a doctor before, but, you know, it's one of those you see every time bikini season comes around again. So, Dr. Bergdorf, loved having you on, talking about the mommy makeover, restoring your body after childbirth. Check it out at drmichaelbergdorf.com. You betcha. And that's, uh, that's it for, t- for right now. Mm-hmm. But we'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. In America, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Benjamin Franklin and other founding fathers handed us a republic and challenged us to keep it. The challenge remains today, more than 240 years later. The AmeriChicks invite you to call in every weekday afternoon at 5 p.m. to sort through the smoke and mirrors and faux news. Join in to discuss government policies as right versus wrong rather than right versus left. Denver's only female-hosted call-in talk show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks, Kim Monson 
Wilson and Molly Vogt. Weekday afternoons at 5 on KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hi, it's Peter Boyle. I remember my 70s now. I feel physically better and emotionally better than ever. Bypass surgery and made no secret now about my recovery from drugs and alcohol. All these things aside, the most amazing thing that happened to me in these last couple years was meeting physician MD and my great family friend, Dr. Julie McCallan. She changed my life, my daughter's life, and so many others. Do you realize that you don't have to just let bad health happen to you? Type 2 diabetes is completely preventable. Most heart disease and dementia are completely preventable as well. Why settle for gaining weight, being tired, getting diabetes and heart disease, and ending up with a broken hip and dementia in the nursing home? Take your health back. Call Cenogenics today and let us help you. I know you become a fan of Dr. McKellen, the physicians at Cenogenics. Call 720-387-3681. Speak to her executive assistant, Jackie. Arrange for a free 20-minute phone call with one of the docs. A 20-minute gift that will change your life. 720-387-3681. 720-387-3681. Or visit cenogenics-denver.com. Inglewood, Colorado, 1947. Mr. Anderson opens a small shop and repairs vacuums. He knows the ins and outs of all seven brands popular at the time. Inglewood, Colorado, now. Anderson's Vacuum still exists, still serving what they sell, including brands like Miele, Sibo, Oric, Dyson, Shark, and more. Try them, test them, find your favorite. Anderson's Vacuum has grown to become one of the largest dealers in sales and service. The knowledge and experience is unmatched. Visit a legend, Anderson's Vacuum, in Inglewood at Anderson's Vacuum. Vacuum.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, Phil's Gang.com. Many of you do not have time to be in individual stocks. You don't have time to learn. Well, I have a solution. As I invest in my own exchange-traded fund, like the spiders, you now can follow me. Every time I do something, you do exactly what I do. It's a great opportunity. Join Phil'sGang.com. For more information, go to Phil'sGang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. My name is Phil Grandy, PhilzGang.com. You know the stock market goes up 72% of the time? Then why is it that the retail customer, 80% of the time, have lost money? Because they don't know when to get out. And that's why I'm providing a product called my MV2 chart that solves that problem. It's always about when do I get out? That problem has been solved. Check it out, my MV2 chart. Don't miss it. For more information, go to PhilzGang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Hail and severe storm season is just around the corner, and that's why you need to call Golden Spike Roofing at 303-942-1386 for a thorough and free inspection for roofing done right to the last nail. Call Golden Spike Roofing. Call Golden Spike Roofing when your roof needs a fix. 303-942-1386. Golden Spike Roofing. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 FanBrag. F-A-N-B-R-A-G. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show, where if you don't know the habits of successful people, you don't know Jack. (laughs) Jack Canfield talked about the habits of successful people, and I'm thinking... Yeah, what's that? What's the, oh shoot? Let's get physical. Let's get successful. I've got okay. that little song in my head, right? Well, actually, I did, but then it disappeared as soon as I heard our comeback music. Let me hear your business talk. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> see, well, you've got it, right? Let's get successful. Successful. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work so well. <laughs> right, we can work and work and work until we are completely burned out. But Jack Canfield says, if you don't develop the specific daily habits of successful people, that it's unlike unlikely you'll ever get there. What does Jack Canfield know about success? He doesn't know Jack, right? Chicken soup for the soul. Yeah, That's the guy. Does. He does. You know, he has he has such a great track record. And, and when you think about the book Chicken Soup for the Soul, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but it was rejected like 144 times. Yeah, right? Who's got, who's got that kind of stamina? Jack Canfield. After, after two or three times of being rejected, how many of us are in a pile of ice cream going in Netflix binging, right. right? And yet it was Jack Canfield who spoke the words into Angel's ear, do it, write it, 
get it out there and tell people about it. Hi. And your first book was a national bestseller for 37 weeks in a row. Because I, I was inspired by Jack Canfield. And yeah, whoever yeah. inspires you, put more of that into your life. Listener Nick says he's got like seven or eight books. Brother, he's got like 80 or 90 books. Uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul series went went crazy. And uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's, all, he's all out the there. Whole series. All right, so here's, here's some uh, successful habits. Daily successful habits to help you to help you just skyrocket whatever it is you're needing to do today. And then I, number one. I've scanned, I've scanned the, the list. Yeah. Picking your nose is not one of them. It's a recurring thing. When somebody says habits. Yeah. You go to picking your nose. I, I, it's the first habit that this I think of. This explains a lot, doesn't it? About I didn't say right? I pick my nose. <laughs> no, but this I, is what you think, I think of. of. Really? Yeah. Is it, I check for it. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? I was traumatized by one person who, who we, we asked the question. What's, what's, what's your habits? What do you do? And one person, a, a, a beautiful girl said, I, it wasn't me. It wasn't no, me. No, 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 it wasn't me. No. Oh I, my gosh. My, no. my naked, my icky bad habit is, is I'm a nail biter. You used to be. Yeah. And so I keep, this is, this is my secret right. to successes. I, I, I've worn gel. acrylic since he had crystal gel. Uh, I've worn acrylic since I was 17 because um, it keeps me from biting my nails. But that comedian, when she talks about going in right. and getting her yeah, nails done, yeah. You, it's, yeah, so okay. it's so funny. It's so funny. All right. So no picking your nose. Here's the successful things that Jack Canfield said will help you be successful. Habit number one. Successful people believe in themselves. Yes. And you have to believe that you are capable of making it happen. Whether or not anybody else around you yep. believes in you. I had a high school teacher who told me, Angel, you will never have a career in radio. <laughs> I, I didn't care at the time. It wasn't what I wanted. But had I believed that? We'd be doing a much different show. Right. So so who cares if your mom, your dad, your brother, your anybody else believes? You have to believe in yourself. When I became a professional magician, I told my parents, I said, I'm going to step out of the nine to five and I'm actually going to start touring the world. And my dad says, you are committing financial suicide. Mm -hmm. He says, you can't do that. If you think about doing that, remember these two words, vaudeville's dead. Oh, I was Thinking, you know, maybe like 1 800 no, 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 no. bankruptcy or something. All right, I number two, habits of successful people. They set goals. Or they just call Angel and she sets them for you. Uh, you but just, they set their own goals. How yeah, about that? That's and true. That, that are both realistic, measurable, and sometimes they set a breakthrough goal. So not only do you have your daily goals, but but you're you're working towards something that is a breakthrough for you. Absolutely. And those who are successful clearly set goals. Those who are not clearly skip that step. They're probably picking their nose. That's where it came. They substituted set goals for pick nose. They almost rhyme. Successful people go the extra mile. They know that if they really want to excel in whatever it is that they're doing, that they've got to outrun the people around them. What's the difference between a professional athlete and those who never make the cut? It's their element of work, though the fact that they are putting in every day. When, when I was a kid, you know, I, I asked uh, the doctor that we had on in our last segment uh, whether or not he actually played uh, football with Steve Berline, who was a quarterback at Notre, Notre Dame. I went to high school with Steve and his brother, Doug, and um, during the high school days, I really thought that I was going to play in the NBA. That was my aspiration as a, a freshman and, and the beginning part of a sophomore in high school a until Doug, Doug tripped me and I blew out my knee. Aside from that, though, every day, eight hours a day, I would do nothing but shoot the basket into the hoop over and over and over and over again. Going the extra mile means that you work harder than everybody. Right. And you don't worry about whether or not it's fair. Nope. Am I going to get compensated nope. for this? Am I going to get recognized for my effort? They they focus on exceeding expectations, being excellent, paying extra attention, and, and just working and whatever it takes to get it all done That's above right. everyone else. And then the opposite, you see those people at work, like not my job description. I'm not being paid for this. Right. I'm not getting right. That's those are not successful daily habits. So they go the extra mile. True. All right, the next one is, and we're talking habits of successful people, they take action. They're not just all talk. They they, they realize that once you've set the goal, once you've got uh, uh, the, the vision going on, once you've decided I'm going all the way with this thing, 
they put it in motion. They get her done. It's in the calendar. And they are keenly aware of the fact that it nothing happens until they take action. And so you create your vision. You set your goals. That's right. You break them down into small action steps. You put it in your calendar and you don't end the day until those action steps are taken care of. They're not sitting on their laurels. And what is the, the saying? You know, you're only as good as your next sale or as your sure. next record and your next. Like It doesn't matter what you did yesterday. That's it right. doesn't matter what success you had. We all get to start each day with this fresh slate. We keep our eyes focused on What's ahead? Right, where we're going. Yep. Not where we've been. There you go. Here's a six habit of successful people that I love and that we uh, honor here on the Experience Pros Radio yeah. Show. And successful people practice appreciation. Probably the most powerful of all of them because it doesn't have to do with you as much as it has to do with those around you and the people around you. Practicing appreciation, you're more likely to to achieve your goals if other people believe that you appreciate their efforts because no man is an island. Mm -hmm. You you require the assistance and and support of the people around you. Right? How easy is it though to make people feel better, to lift them up, to encourage them, to show gratitude and appreciation? You know, I know it seems easier to ignore them, to not sure. thank them for the work that they they do every day. I know it was in their job description. And we feel like, well, I shouldn't have to thank them or appreciate them. That's their job. It's the very least they should do. And But when you appreciate people, they rise up. They want to be part of your tribe. They've got your back. And when you need all hands on deck or you've got that breakthrough thing that you're trying to achieve, they all come together in support of you. But you've got to fill the, you've got to fill the pocket, right? You've got to fill the pocket with change before you take a withdrawal. There's, it doesn't cost you anything to show appreciation. And in fact, the more you, you give, the more there is. And now you've created this trickle effect, this culture that maybe you show an appreciation to somebody who's feeling a little down in the dumps. And then they take that to the next person and they hold the door open and show appreciation to somebody else that was feeling down in the dumps. And now it gets multiplied and it gets, you know, three, four, five people deep and somebody who was really suffering and having a really bad day because somebody else, because you showed somebody else appreciation, they did. It changes people's lives. Absolutely. All right. Keeping those five habits in mind, here's your homework. Pick, pick two of them and practice them today. Believe in yourself. Set goals. Go the extra mile. Take action and practice appreciation. Which two will you do today mm. and then tomorrow? Hold yourself accountable. If not, let us hold you accountable. Hey, I'm, I'm going to post this on our Experience Pros wall. And right. if you want to leave a comment on the article on um, some successful tips that you're going to adopt, you know, one or two of these, let us know. And, uh, you know, together we're we're just we're better. Right? Absolutely. We're, we are not an island. You don't have to do this alone. You've got the support. You've got everything that you need right here. We're so thankful that you follow us and, and stay in touch with us here on the Experience. Experience Pros Radio Show. You betcha. Hey, have you heard about the Spring Fling and Juicy Deal? That's a daily 60-second commercial every single day across four formats here on the Experience Pros Radio Show for only $495 a month. It's a $1,600 package, $495 a month. You want more information, give Cecil a call, 720-474-9052. Angel and I will be right back. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you $250. I know. 
It sounds crazy giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. Hey there, Dan Cicchini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. Right, Todd? Of course, Dad. With our unique cabinet resurfacing, they'll get that beautiful new kitchen. And without the mess and expense of replacement. And in a shorter time, too. Boy, you've got that right, Todd. But if an all-new kitchen is on their wish list, we'll build it from the bottom up, first rate all the way. And let's not forget that very special room, the bath. What about that? Well, hey, turning leaky, moldy, smelly baths into awesome rooms, that's what we do. Whether it's a tub-to-shower conversion or a whole new five-piece bath, our family business will make it special, just like we've done for decades. Okay, Todd. So, folks, give us a call and see what our family can do for your family. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors, and even replacement windows and doors, you have our word we'll treat you right at Dunright. 303-722-2295, 800-362-8370, or DunrightKitchens.com. You know, for decades, Wall Street professionals have been using computers to trade stocks and make profits every single day. Sounds like a great idea, right? But who has the time or the expertise to monitor the market constantly? I'm sure you don't. That is why it's time to introduce to you the first and only robotic stock trader in the world, designed to automatically rake profits out of the market unattended. Created by a retired Microsoft programmer, this app allows you to trade like the pros on Wall Street. Sound too good to be true? Go to CoolTrade.org and download the app for free. Watch the proprietary algorithms work and see how profits are generated. No obligation, no software for to download, no credit card needed, you could see 5, 10, and even 15% return a month. Where else can you get that? Go to cooltrade.org. That's cooltrade.org. That's cooltrade.org. And experience this game-changing technology. Go to cooltrade.org and start taking profits out of the market today. Business owners and marketing professionals, learn how to promote and grow your business online by attending the Denver Digital Download, presented by Get Found Fast, Denver's premier digital marketing firm Inverness Hotel Wednesday April 19th at 9 a.m. Learn the latest techniques for getting leads improving your website and growing your revenue online. Digital experts will be on hand to give you a free on-site analysis of your online presence. Register and save your spot now at GetFoundFast.com GetFoundFast.com Hi, I'm Carrie Gasmus, Area Manager with Fairway Independent Mortgage. Have you noticed the mortgage ads lately? Companies that used to advertise low, low rates and savings of hundreds if not thousands of dollars on your refinance have suddenly become purchase experts. At Fairway, we've always been purchase experts. We offer our qualified pre-approved buyers a 20-day purchase guarantee from contract to close. In Colorado's competitive real estate market, a quick closing can be the difference between owning a home you love or dragging your search out for months. Apply from your computer or mobile device online through our easy application process. Unlike other companies, we won't leave you floating alone in a gravity-free room. Our local team of loan officers walks with you every step of the way to qualify and close on your dream home. Learn more about our 20-day closing guarantee and your home loan options by calling 303-214-9071 or visit us online at fairwaymortgagecolorado.com. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. NMLS number 2289 is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter into an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information, rates, and programs are subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. A pre-qualification is not an approval of credit and does not signify that underwriting requirements have been met. Branch NMLS number 1122559. Regulated by the Colorado Division of Real Estate. Finally, you can experience comfort in every room in your home. Plus, save money on energy costs every day. Discover how Pasture Camp can help with a new energy-efficient heating and air conditioning system. The Pasture Camp family has provided comfort and a customer satisfaction guarantee for over 50 years. They offer payment plans as low as $89 per month with approved credit. Discover Pasture Camp and experience comfort. Call 303-777-1234 or visit PastureCamp.com. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to America's home for positive business talk. This is Angel Tussie and Eric Bramer on the Experience Pros radio show. We appreciate you for tuning in. We encourage you to participate in the kindness act of the day, that being to 
uh, compliment somebody, compliment anybody, compliment everybody that you meet every single day. Right, yes, yeah, start this chain reaction and we would love to hear your results on if you're participating in the Kindness Acts of the day and mm -hmm. also if you've jumped into the spring fling and juicy deal we know we've oh, got man. lots of new advertisers getting ready to jump on board remember it's a a daily commercial right here on the experience pros radio show 495 dollars a month instead of 1600 dollars a month all right i have a question for you all right if you're the summer, babe, if you're the summer, babe, Not. But are you lying to yourself? To, to myself? To yourself. Uh-oh. The person not sure. that you are most likely lying to is yourself. I don't think you're out there spreading rumors and telling lies to other people and don't people don't think of you as as dishonest. But self-deception and lying to yourself and living in denial is the simplest way to ignore the challenges and situations that are pushing you to achieve more. And so we need to get out of denial and come to terms with the things that are holding you back from your own success. All right. I know. We're going to get dark, down and dirty to and ourselves. Harsh, right? Okay. All right. 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 If you're going to be successful, you've got to get out of the denial and face what isn't working. What excuses you are making for the lack of results in your own business, in your own career. You know, and you're probably defending or ignoring how toxic your work environment mm. is. Maybe you're making excuses for bad relationships, money, health, all of that. But if you're in denial about your lack of energy, your excess weight, your ill health, your level of physical fitness, your relationships, your financial situation, all of that, we're gonna we're gonna unveil, we're gonna take off the the mask of lying today. Mm. Well, denial is not just a river in Egypt, you know. Right. And you know, and here's the thing, I know that sometimes Situations in our lives are uncomfortable or maybe embarrassing, maybe painful. We don't really want to share our dirty laundry with other people. We're not asking you to. But here's what what is ended up happening. You know, think about your own business. A lot of times people say, you know, I'm doing everything I can. I'm doing all the work. No, you're not. Hold on for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you are not. We often pretend that something's working when it isn't. And we pretend that it's all okay when maybe it isn't. We pretend that we're doing everything we should be when we aren't. We are staying busy versus being productive. We are, you know, just kind of moving our cheese around. Do you ever remember as a kid when there was something on your plate you didn't want to eat? You just moved it around the plate? Yeah. Right? I gave it, it to grandma. She ate Right? You just piece. moved it around. And we just move around it. But here's the thing. Acknowledging the situation that you're in is cheaper than letting it go another day. So here's what we need to do. We need to acknowledge the situation, right? Acknowledge, just, just to yourself, right? Okay. Face the truth. Tell yourself the truth. All right. What are you really dealing with? Mm. Uh, now, it's If you've got somebody you trust. Nope, I'm going to lie to myself instead. And you can handle and have this conversation with somebody who isn't going to try to fix it, but can't, or, or, jump to a conclusion. Oh my gosh, your business is, is failing and your life is going down the toilet. Like it, it's just really just going to listen and hold you accountable. Here's the problem though. I think that the solution for, for lying to myself, whatever it is that I'm lying to myself about, I think that the solution is going to require a drastic change. But not usually, not hmm. usually, you know, there's just a disconnect, a, a shift, you know, a little tweak that probably has to happen. Maybe well, there's a shift all right. Maybe it's a conversation. Maybe it's looking at your finances and getting a real grip on on where you're really at. Maybe it's looking at your 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 diet, you know, what what are you really eating and your your activity level. So I don't necessarily have to quit my job, get a divorce, fire the employee or ground the teenager? No, 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 no. Uh, listener it's, Nick it's, says just tweak it. it just it, just a tweak. Just a little bit, like a shift. You know, are you really are you really out there? growing your business? Are you really out there making sales calls and having sales conversations and revenue producing conversations? Are you really out there having, you know, doing the work or are you just looking busy? And you know, you don't have to lie to me. You're lying to yourself because you are exactly where you have put yourself to be. Because you're afraid. Well, sometimes. Stop being afraid. Sometimes. You Take know, because, some action. Because it's, it's a shift, right? It's a change. Something has to change. And so the good news is, 
is the the more you can face an uncomfortable situation, the better you get at it. Mm -hmm. And the sooner you take action, the easier it is to handle. The sooner you face it, the sooner it is you can overcome it and get over it and put it behind you. All right. So here's some here's some homework uh, for you to take action. Stop lying to yourself. Okay. Get honest with you yourself. And, uh, and and let's start seeing that breakthrough improvement. Here are the major areas that you probably would be setting goals. And our friend Carrie Conley is listening right now. Carrie, we love you. Thank you so much for uh, for your word of encouragement on the, the video. Uh, normal areas where you set goals, financial, career or business, free time or family time, right? Health and fitness, relationships, personal growth, and contribution or making a difference. Make a plan. What's not working? How can I improve it? What requests can I make? What action steps do I need to take? And then go get them. Go get Stop it. Stop lying to yourself. Right. And, but, and so here, take a look at these major areas of your life, yeah. right? Your finances, your relationships, yeah. you know, your friendships, your, uh, your business, like all of that. And give yourself a score on a scale from one to 10. Where are you when it comes to your relationships? Mm. And we're talking your friends, your family, romantic and, and colleagues, all of that. Where would you be? Where do you, would you rate yourself on a scale from one to 10 in, in your relationships? A two minus. So then, you know, well, it's so, so it, and it doesn't matter what the score is. You know, look at your business. Look at your finances. Look at your fitness and your health and wellness, your spirituality, your faith. Each one of them and give yourself a score on a scale from one to 10, one being it sucks and, and 10 being here, it's just really awesome. It, it doesn't matter what the score is, but then ask yourself, what would it take to get this from this number to a 10? Mm. What, how can I improve it? Prove it. What are the things that I can do to take it to a 10? What action steps? What conversations? What behaviors? How do I take it to a 10? And then... Do it. Take it to a 10. There you go. All right, gang, we've got to, to wrap this thing up. We're going to be back again tomorrow, so we invite you to join us then. You've been listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. On behalf of Big Man Chad, our producer, Angel, myself, all the people that make it happen, we thank you for tuning in. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business.